Over the past several months, we've had the privilege of spending time with and getting to know Britain's vivacious sweetheart, Martha Clements. Today, we follow Martha as she makes a trip to her great aunt Winnie's, who doesn't live too far from Martha herself. When we arrived at Winnie's, the undeniably unique relationship between the two became very apparent. Winnie, how oh, are you? you? Hello, Martha. Oh, hello, nice to see you. How are you doing? Your little hand hadn't grown. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Shortly after arriving, we sat down with both Martha and Winnie separately and asked them to elaborate on Martha's frequent visits. Aunt Winnie just, she just loves it when I stop by, you know, she's gets sort of lonely here. She always enjoys the company, so I just drop on by. She comes at the most inconvenient times. I, oh, but that's the way it is, I guess. Well, I'm usually reading or watching the telly and... I know that knock. She just knocks on the door. I have to answer. Martha explained to us that she often does chores around the house or cooks for Winnie, since these daily tasks are harder for her than they used to be, due to old age. She does all these chores, and then I have to go back over it and do it all again, because she just messes up everything. I'll do all sorts of things for her, you know. Just, I'll cook for her, clean, wash the windows, stuff that she just has a little bit of trouble, you know, managing on her own. You know, people going down the street were just going way too fast, and um, Winnie just, she didn't, she didn't like it, so I made a petition, and I got it signed, and we got the speed bumps put right in on the road, so now that the speed is right under control. Oh, Martha. Could you go put some tea on, please? Well, yes, sir. With your little hand. Well, Martha got those speed bumps put in, and I'm telling you, it just slows everything up out there on the street, and there's a big line. It's just awful. Well, Martha has this silly notion that there's something wrong with 666. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Martha, that silly thing, walks around with a candle with Jesus on it and does this little dance-like thing, chasing away the evil spirit. I just don't feel like that's safe. I mean, the mark of the devil. That is not okay. Just as a precaution, every time I enter and leave the house, I bless it with my spiritual candle. I'm always so relieved when Martha finally leaves. She hangs around and does all these goofy things, and finally she leaves, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> 